Welcome to China Discovery's Official, where we explore the major shifts shaping China and its growing influence on the world. Today, we are diving into one of the most ambitious infrastructure initiatives of the 21st century, the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor, known as CPEC. This is not just a collection of projects. It is a living demonstration of China's vision to reshape global connectivity, with a total investment expected to exceed $60 billion, transforming Pakistan into a new logistics and industrial hub. From modern highways cutting across deserts to massive power plants lighting up the entire country, and deep seaports opening Pakistan to the Indian Ocean, CPEC is an infrastructure revolution that is redefining Pakistan's future. It is the backbone of President Xi Jinping's Belt and Road Initiative, praised as the project of the century with enormous potential for Pakistan. Analysts estimate that it could help Pakistan rise to become the 20th largest economy in the world by the year 2030 and create more than 2.3 million new jobs. For our audience who loves data and concrete numbers, the scale and impact of these mega projects will be nothing short of astonishing. We begin with the single largest and most symbolic project in the entire CPEC framework, the upgrade and dualization of the North-South Railway trunk line, Main Line 1 from Karachi to Peshawar. With an investment size of about $7 billion, this project reflects the strong commitment of both China and Pakistan. It is far more than a repair effort. It is a complete modernization of Pakistan's most important rail corridor. The project covers the full upgrade of the 1,872-kilometer main line, stretching from the bustling port city of Karachi in the south up to Peshawar in the north. The goal is to transform this corridor into a truly modern artery, raising passenger train speeds to between 140 and 160 kilometers per hour and freight speeds to 120 kilometers per hour, dramatically improving travel time and transport capacity. To achieve this, the entire line will be double-tracked, all level crossings will be removed, and advanced automated signaling and control systems will be installed to ensure maximum safety and efficiency. As of September 2025, after months of financial deadlock when China paused direct funding over concerns about Pakistan's security and repayment capacity, a major breakthrough finally occurred. Pakistan and China signed a joint financing agreement worth $7 billion with a four-year action plan from 2025 to 2029 under the second phase of CPEC. The ML1 project has now been declared strategic and is in its initial construction stage with phase completion expected by 2030. It will play a central role in linking CPEC, special economic zones, and boosting domestic and regional trade. Next is the Karachi-Lahore and Peshawar-Karachi motorway, the Eastern Alignment, a modern highway network that serves as the road backbone of CPEC. With a total estimated cost of about $6.6 .6 billion for the entire 1,152-kilometer corridor with six lanes, it connects the major economic centers from Karachi to Lahore and forms part of the wider Peshawar-Karachi trunk route. Within this network, the Multan Sukar section, known as M5, stretches 392 kilometers and alone cost about $2.89 billion. 90% of this amount came from concessional loans provided by Chinese state banks. The section was completed and inaugurated in 2019. Before CPEC, transporting goods from the northern to the southern regions of Pakistan could take up to 48 hours. Today, this highway system has reduced that travel time to between 15 and 20 hours, creating a logistics and supply chain revolution. By the year 2025, many parts of the highway are fully operational, with M5 being the flagship example. Expansion projects continue under CPEC Phase 2, with a focus on linking the highway network to newly developed industrial zones. This remains one of the standout successes of CPEC, demonstrating China's ability to build high-quality infrastructure that strengthens Pakistan's transport capacity and connects its seaports to inland markets even though additional investment and maintenance will be necessary due to rising traffic volumes. Now let us turn our attention to the Southwest 
home to the deep sea port and city of Guadar, a project of immense geopolitical importance. Composed of multiple components totaling several billion dollars, Guadar includes a modern deep sea port, a vast free trade zone, logistics infrastructure, and a brand new international airport valued at about $230 million, built and financed by China. The development package also includes the East Bay Expressway, previously noted at around $179 million, as well as power plants, water supply systems, and urban development. The objective is clear, to transform Guadar into a thriving regional trading hub, a strategic gateway linking China to the Indian Ocean, the Middle East, and Central Asia. By 2025, the Guadar International Airport is operational, and the port is expanding its free zone to attract logistics and technology companies. CPEC Phase 2, from 2025 to 2029, focuses on developing Gwadar into a commercial and maritime center aligned with Pakistan's national maritime strategy. For China, Gwadar offers a much shorter route to the Indian Ocean compared to the Malacca Strait, reducing dependency and strengthening energy security. Although challenges remain, including security concerns in Balakistan and occasional local opposition, the strategic significance and economic potential of Gwadar are unmistakable. It stands as a testament to China's vision of a fully integrated global connectivity network. Beyond transport and seaports, CPEC also prioritizes solving Pakistan's severe electricity shortage. One of the cornerstone energy projects is the Thar Block 1 coal mine and power complex, the Shanghai Electric 1320 megawatt plant located in the Thar Desert in Sin province. This is a fully integrated mega project that includes an open pit coal mine producing 7.8 million tons of coal per year and a 1320 megawatt coal-fired power plant consisting of two 660 megawatt units using advanced supercritical technology. The project is funded and developed by Shanghai Electric of China. With an investment scale of roughly $2.5 to $3 billion, including $1.44 billion for the power plant and about $1.08 billion for the mine, this is the largest domestic coal-based energy project in the Thar region. It significantly reduces Pakistan's dependence on imported fuels. By 2025, the complex is fully completed and has been operational since February 2023, feeding power directly into the Matiari Lahore high-voltage direct current transmission line to supply electricity to major northern load centers. This marks a major step forward for Pakistan's energy independence and highlights China's ability to execute large-scale, technically demanding projects even in harsh desert environments. In the energy sector, we cannot overlook the Sahiwal coal-fired power plant with a capacity of 1,320 megawatts in Punjab province. With an investment of about $1.9 billion, this plant, built by the Chinese joint venture Huaning Shandong and Shandong Ruyi under an independent power producer model, was one of the first early harvest projects of CPEC. Its primary mission was to ease Pakistan's severe electricity shortage following the year 2017. By the year 2025, the plant has long been completed and has been operating reliably since 2017. It even exceeded expectations by delivering 1,252 megawatts during the annual grid performance test in July 2025. Although there have been calls for early retirement in favor of clean energy and ongoing concerns about emissions, Sahiwal has been absolutely essential in stabilizing the national grid, providing dependable electricity to millions of households and businesses. The success of this project demonstrates China's ability to deliver energy solutions that are fast, efficient, and capable of addressing Pakistan's most urgent challenges. Continuing our journey through CPEC's energy pillars, we arrive at the Port Qasim coal power plant, another 1,320 megawatt facility located near Karachi. This large-scale project, with a total investment of around $2.09 billion, was developed by Power China in partnership with Al Merkab of Qatar using advanced supercritical coal technology similar to Sahiwal. 
The plant was designed to support the growing electricity needs of Karachi, Pakistan's busiest economic hub. By the year 2025, the plant is fully completed and operational, making a substantial contribution to easing local power shortages. But it has also faced significant challenges, particularly with debt. Outstanding liabilities have reached roughly 450 billion Pakistani rupees. In November 2025, the Al Thani Group of Qatar announced its withdrawal of 49% equity due to delayed payments, even threatening a shutdown. Despite these tensions, the plant's role in supplying electricity to Karachi's industrial and residential zones remains undeniable, highlighting both the benefits and financial risks associated with mega energy projects. Not far from Port Qasim stands the Hubco in China Power Hub Coal Power Plant, another 1,320 megawatt project located in Hub, Balakistan. With an investment between $1.9 and $2 billion, this joint venture between Hubco of Pakistan and Chinese partners is focused on boosting electricity supply for the southern region, particularly Karachi and the surrounding coastal industrial belts. By the year 2025, the plan is fully complete and operating stably. Related projects in the Thar region, including Thalnova and TEL, each with a capacity of 330 megawatts, also reached their commercial operation date in October 2025, clearing payments and operating steadily. Together, these facilities form a powerful energy network, relying on both imported and domestic coal to meet Pakistan's rising demand and strengthen national energy security. Now we shift to the realm of renewable energy, where CPEC has also advanced large-scale hydropower development. The first major example is the Karat Hydropower Plant, with a capacity of 720 megawatts on the Jhelum River, straddling Punjab and Azad Kashmir. With a total investment of about $1.72 billion, this project was developed by China Three Gorges, one of China's largest clean energy corporations, and was the first hydropower project financed by the Silk Road Fund. Karat generates between 3.2 and 3.4 billion kilowatt hours of clean electricity each year. By the year 2025, the project has been completed since June 2022 and continues to operate smoothly. A 2025 report highlighted that Carat produced 3,206 gigawatt hours per year and reduced carbon emissions by as much as 35 million tons. It was featured at the ICOLD 2025 conference as a model example of sustainable hydropower. Karat not only delivers clean energy and major emissions reductions, but also stands as a powerful symbol of the long-term clean energy partnership between China and Pakistan under CPEC. Next is the Kohala Hydropower Project with a capacity of 1,124 megawatts, also located on the Jhelum River in Azad, Kashmir. With an even larger scale, a capacity of 1,124 megawatts and an investment of about $2.4 billion, Kohala is also financed by China Three Gorges under a build-own operate transfer model. By late 2025 or early 2026, the project is expected to reach completion. Although it has been approved and is under construction, Kohala has encountered several challenges, including environmental concerns and objections from local communities, which prompted the Chinese developer to request extended support from Pakistan to secure water rights. Even so, Kohala's potential to strengthen renewable energy generation and reduce environmental pollution in Pakistan is immense, highlighting the growing diversity of CPEC's energy portfolio. Finally, but no less important, is the project that ensures electricity from these new power plants can actually reach the nation's major consumption centers. The Matiari to Lahore HVDC transmission line rated at 660 kilovolts with a transfer capacity of 4,000 megawatts. With an investment of roughly 1.6 to $1.66 billion, this ultra high voltage direct current line stretches 878 kilometers and can transmit up to 4,000 megawatts of power. The project was built by the State Grid Corporation of China under a 25 year build own operate transfer arrangement. It is the first HVDC line in Pakistan 
in the country's first privately operated transmission project, marking a major leap forward in national grid technology. By the year 2025, the project has been completed since September 2021 and continues to operate reliably. In October 2025, the National Transmission and Dispatch Company carried out its first live line maintenance operation, demonstrating the system's reliability and advanced operational capability. This transmission line plays a crucial role in connecting coal power plants in Thar and other southern regions with the major load centers of Punjab, stabilizing the national grid and ensuring a continuous and dependable electricity supply. In summary, the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor is far more than a collection of mega projects. It is a strategic vision, an infrastructure revolution reshaping Pakistan's economy and society while reinforcing China's position as a global builder. From railways, highways, and deep sea ports to massive energy facilities, each project serves as a solid building block for Pakistan's future prosperity, reflecting China's engineering capability and long-term financial commitment. The multi-billion dollar investments, the thousands of megawatts, the thousands of kilometers of new infrastructure, and the millions of jobs collectively demonstrate how China is elevating Pakistan to a new level of development, something few other nations could deliver in such a short time. CPEC is an essential pillar of the broader Belt and Road Initiative, opening new routes for trade and cooperation and affirming China's leadership role in connecting and developing the world.